the holiday season is upon us and this year it's time to think beyond just the food and drink. For many, the consequences of what we ate and drank over Christmas can be a source of stress for a month or more. But what if we focused on creating moments that bring us together through shared fun and laughter? Why not make Christmas get-togethers all about games this year? Sometimes it can be hard to think of what to talk about on Christmas Day with people maybe that you see every day anyway, or those you only see once a year. This year, why not direct the conversation with a game? You can even gift it to the group and announce that game time begins after the meal. You could forewarn and enlist the help of a few people to help you to get it going. You know, a little planning can go a long way to ensure enthusiasm when the time comes. Games don't just pass the time though. They help families bond emotionally. They help to bring two or more people together without a specific topic of conversation. A Brigham University study even found that families who play games together form stronger connections. Games can also help children develop important social skills like communication and empathy. Take charades or a game like Guess Who or You Know. They encourage turn taking and demonstrate that it's not always about winning, but just having fun. Maybe you could replace the standard Guess Who character pictures on the board with your own family members for a bit of fun. Look for templates on the internet. You know, games can also help with problem solving and improve concentration or word skills. Think code names or Jenga. They can help build self-esteem and confidence at all ages. Try Trivial Pursuit, Scategories, or what about setting up a jigsaw table? You can spend the whole season completing it if you need to. Games improve language and logic for the young and old, and they're a challenge for impulse control. Think Scrabble. Plan a few games if you have a crowd, something to match everyone. Allocate people to each game if you need to, or rotate if appropriate. Plan an active game like Frisbee, Finska, or Batonk, and a stationary game like Bananagrams for those who can't sit still and those who can't get up. I encourage you to clear the table for the stationary games. You've just eaten and putting food on the table just makes people overeat even further. You know, we really can't help ourselves taking the food that's within our reach and putting it in our mouths. It's just a fact. Maybe you're flying solo this Christmas or the days surrounding it. What about a game with a neighbor who's also having a quiet season? You don't need to think of what to say when there's a game involved. That's my best tip for this festive season. We'll be back next year with more great ideas. Have a great one.